Alexander Wing. <laughs> no. So Jumpy the Valley for HM Parka. In this video, I will tell you if it's worth spending more than retail on this parka. Let me start with the positive things. This painting is fantastic. This piece is probably the best piece of the entire collection. The painting on the back looks fantastic in a fit. Also, the way that the parka fits, it's made out of polyester 100%. It's just a shell, but because of that, it just has such a tight silhouette. Really cut out uh, tight edges, which looks fantastic. Um, the uh, hood of it, you can put all the way up to your uh, to your chin, so the wind doesn't get through. I think it's a windproof parka, not rainproof, because I put something on there, some water, and I felt like it did get through, but it's really thin, so maybe just stalls water a little bit, and then after a while it gets through. If you want a recommendation for that, I'll try out the Alexander Wang for H&M Rain Parka because that's made out of rubber and that's really, really functional. So for this parka, um, the lining uh, or stitching is really not that fantastic. It looks unfinished. It looks off. It's just a shell and for 180 euros, that's kind of stupid. It means of pricing, in my opinion. Um, so the retail price of this was 180. I think it would was a little too high, even though it did sell out because of hype, etc. It's a really cool piece, but really justifying price quality, this is not it. Um, we got YKK zippers, but they, it just plastic gets stuck a lot of times. Uh, really rough zippers, and there's tons of tricks you can do to smoothen that process. But I don't know, it's a 180 euro parka. It, it should just work better, or it should have used a different zipper, even though the black zipper does look really cool. You can, um, you can tighten the look uh, because of the buttons on your wrist. You have the really nice hood, and for the rest, it's a official parka, no drawstrings. The painting goes all the way from up, uh, from underneath your neck, uh, to the end of the fishtail, and that's the entire parka. It's just a shell. You shouldn't pay more than retail for this. The sizing is true to size. I got a size large, which I think is the biggest size possible. I think there's a size small, medium, and large. No extra larges I've seen ever, and I've looked quite a ton on the internet. So but let me know if you want more information on this, and if you find this interesting or interested in Rick Owens' dark wear, uh, stuff you see me readily wear, you can probably find something interesting on my Instagram page. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next video. If you want me to review any of the uh, other pieces that I have from the Jumpsy to Valley Fridge Gem collection, let me know. I'll be happy to do so. Hope you guys have a great, great day. See you guys next time. See ya.